Apple Intelligence was just announced and it's this AI system that's gonna be available across iPhone, Mac, iPad, and it's going to be able to do really cool things. So let's check it out. First off, we have Siri, which has a new UI and a lot more features. You can finally talk to it naturally with stutters or pauses and it'll still understand what you're saying. You can switch between typing or talking whenever you want. It even sees what's on your screen so you can ask questions about anything. But the coolest feature by far is that it can take action for you. You can ask it to edit photos, to send a message, to calculate a trip, anything that you want, it'll do it with its AI. And for tasks that are harder, it even connects to ChatGPT where you can unlock absolutely anything. Then you have new writing tools that can help you rewrite, summarize, proofread inside of any app that has text. And then there's the image playground. This allows you to create any image with different styles or different prompts, and you can do it right on your device. It powers a new feature called Genmoji that allows you to create any emoji that you want just with a text prompt. And there's a bunch of cool integration like in notes where you can take a sketch and turn it into a real image instantly. There's a clear up tool in photos that allows you to remove any unwanted objects or people from your backgrounds. And now when you're searching for a photo or a video, you can just type naturally what you're looking for and the AI will go find the exact frame that you need. And since it has information from your emails, your text, and all the apps that you use, it's able to help you really specifically for your problems. The best part is that all of this happens completely privately, either on your device or in a private cloud that Apple doesn't even have access to. Now the catch is that it's only going to be available to iPhone 15 Pro and up and M1 devices and above. And most of these features are coming in September with iOS 18.